My thesis work is on uh, broadly on fish swimming and understanding how fish swim well and how they swim fast. Daniel uh, is advised by myself and also by uh, Professor Rowley and he's essentially doing two or at least twice as much work as most people do for a thesis. He's doing some very interesting computational work with uh, Professor Rowley and he's doing the experiments with me and it's a very symbiotic thing. Uh, we're talking about the same problem but we can ask different questions using these different tools. Uh, so Lex is a very accomplished experimentalist and I have some experience with simulations and theory uh, and this is a problem that we'd already sort of agreed to start working on and Daniel was a grad student who came to us and was interested in this project so in some sense it was a natural collaboration. So I came into uh, Princeton not knowing exactly what I wanted to work on. Um, I knew that I wanted to work on fluid mechanics broadly which is uh, you know what my thesis is on. Um, and I knew that a lot of the people who work in the area of fluid mechanics here are very good, but I didn't have a specific topic in mind. Uh, so when I first came, I just talked to all the people who worked in fluid mechanics. And uh, after having you know, some good conversations with them, I found uh, two people uh, who were working on the same project actually, and that was uh, this fish swimming project that I'm working on now. And it was something that uh, really struck me because more than anything else, it was sort of curiosity driven, and that's what really stuck to me. This is a computational fluid dynamics simulation of a virtual swimmer. Because of the movement of this airfoil, it's pushing fluid out faster in that direction, accelerating in that direction, and so the fluid pushes back on the airfoil and propels it in the other direction. And so this is again how, how swimming works. So he's broken that down into some very simple models and then be able to say something about what nature is trying to do, but also how we could, might be able to use that in an engineering context. It's really validation that I'm doing something interesting, something of value, something that, you know, not just myself, but other people also find interesting too.